If you're one of the many tens of people who subscribe to my channel, you'll know I love spending time out in the wild alone. Could that be because I'm one of the few people on earth who think I'm fascinating company? Well, sure it could, but whilst my social awkwardness is definitely a thing, I'm also the first to admit that there's nothing better than having the right people out there with you. If they get it like you do, the right people just make the best things in life that much better. There they are! Woo! <laughs> and these two really get it. I've known one since we were teenagers and the other since he was born and together we've done it all. From kayak fishing with big sharks swimming around, falling out of kayaks in rough seas, marlin fishing offshore, camping all over the country in good weather, horrendous weather. I even hid an entire case of beer with ice in Scotty's backpack once before a big hike. So yeah, I can assure you it's always better when they're along for the ride. <laughs> there are many reasons for this, but uh, one of the main ones is you get to laugh at them when they think roughing it in the wild goes hand in hand with packing one of these things. Milk froth. <laughs> <laughs> Only 400 watts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What would Clint Eastwood think? You get to goad them into doing things that defy rational thought, like leaping into a semi-frozen river just before the sun goes down to retrieve a $3 lure. <laughs> it certainly is, my boy. <sighs> Fuck it, Max. You get to share food that, for some reason, is just always better around a campfire. A cold beer can change your life, and... Something as simple as butter and garlic and wild trout can turn into something you'll never forget. <laughs> and, you know, it can be less scary. I mean, it gets really dark out there and it's nice having mates around when you think you're being invaded by aliens, only to realise it's Elon Musk, not UFOs. Glad I packed the brown undies. And while we spend hours and hours catching up on anything from fishing to footy to our undying love for sriracha mayo, for me, the absolute best bits are the quiet times spent just eating, sharing a drink, fishing and sitting around the fire. Which is kind of ironic, having people there to talk to but not feeling the need to constantly talk. And that's not just me, right? I mean, yes, I'm basically an introvert with a deep fear of small talk, but I think even most normal folk know that blissful feeling of being around people where silences don't have to be filled. But anyway, for a guy who's making such a big thing about the beauty of silence, I sure am talking a hell of a lot. So maybe I'll shut up for a bit. Let's crack open a brekkie beer and watch the snowflake caddis for a while, then go for a fish.
The quote at the start of this film is from one of my favourite books and movies, Into the Wild, which tells the true story of Christopher McCandless, who wrote that happiness is only real when shared. Ironically, this was one of the last things he ever wrote before dying alone at just 24 years of age, trapped in the wild after trying to escape society. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, geez, righto, mate, that's a bit dark. I just came here to relax, not to be traumatized. But it really got me thinking, I mean, why? Why is sharing our experiences so important? It's actually a question that's harder to answer than you might think. Even a lot of reading and searching only led to answers like, because it's just better, so there, kind of thing. But thinking about it, I realize one of the main reasons I've always brought a camera with me when I'm alone is that it still lets me share the experience. Well, actually, the main reason is to prove to skeptical mates that I did actually catch that fish, but the other reason is to share the experience. Back in the day, I used to carry a film camera with me long before there were fancy mobile phones, all just to bring home a few pictures of the things I was seeing to share with everyone. But it was a huge hassle. SLR cameras and film were expensive and heavy, so why bother making the effort? What finally made sense came to me by imagining one person alone on Earth. I know, weird, but bear with me for a sec. If that person was walking along a river, and let's say he's picking his nose, if he were to fall over, jamming that finger up his nose and causing it to bleed uncontrollably, well, he'd be a bit embarrassed, maybe have a chuckle to himself, and that would be that. He'd probably forget about it pretty soon. But if that were to happen in front of a mate, like it did to a mate of mine when we were in our 20s, well, then you've got a moment of sheer comedic gold and a memory that has echoed through thousands of retellings and a gazillion laughs over decades. I have a picture of that bleeding nose, and honestly, that look of delighted shame on his face is one of my most prized possessions. So if I were to think of it like math, which for an intellect like mine is obviously dangerous, but if I did, it would be something basic like sharing an experience multiplies the enjoyment over time. It's pretty much that simple. Whether that's having the right someone along with me or bringing home footage to share, it's just my way of making good stuff better for longer. I know one day when I'm too old to throw on a backpack or sleep on the ground, I'll look back at this footage and for just a moment I'll be back in these mountains again laughing with these two absolute legends and that's uh, going to be so bloody good. I mean, it's awesome now, but it's going to be even better then. So, whoever you are, thanks for watching this stuff. I have really love sharing it with you. Fucking hell, fucking hell,